You're gonna have to be tighter, you're gonna be tighter. Good. So we understand that the smaller radii are where? I know you're not done. Try to move it closer. So the smaller radii are where? I'm looking at, where's my hydrogen? No, no, it's, it's a sodium, the largest element here. So we've got this, this person here, and then we have, okay, which element are you? Because I see some sodium. Okay, I got uh, magnesium. I'm missing yeah. aluminum, silicon, you, okay. Who are you? If you're gonna be hydrogen, then there's a big space, and then I'm gonna have Sarah, who's helium. So where are you guys going? You guys are floating. You gotta get in order, right? So I've got myself uh, hydrogen, helium, then I've got lithium. Good, look at this. We're getting bigger as we go to this corner. Now we should be doing what? Getting, right? So you're what? What element? Lithium, who are you? Got to know who you are. Beryllium, Kara, who are you? Don't be one. Okay, Kate, who are you? Floating here. If this is boron, if, if, if Kara's a boron, okay, you must be a what, Kate? Carbon, good, who is this? Nitrogen, step closer, because we have to be in a rose, right? Come on, nitrogen, who is this? Oxygen, okay, then we've got Fluorine, get closer. No, I'm neon. Oh, neon, sorry. Then you have neon, get closer. The people won't bite. All right, cool. Cool beans. Now, looks looks pretty cool. I'm going to go to table S for a second just to see. In fact, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put on the big screen the three-dimensional chart you made and see if we look so good. This is pretty good. I should be getting smaller as I go down. Now, look, that's not bad, not bad, not bad. Okay, there is one adjustment that has to be made. You're making the assumption, based on our trends, and you're making the assumption correct, that hydrogen is bigger than a lot of these other elements. Now, if I go on the screen here, the big screen, okay, and I see how we look, all right? If we go on the screen here, uh, the big screen, let's see what a three-dimensional graph looks like. This is what we did. Stay in your positions. You have to know who you are. Okay, this is what you made yesterday, guys. Look, who are you? Now, we have too many elements here, but I'm going to tell you right now that this is lithium. Oh, so we have a short person. Jack. Whoa, whoa, weird. Who's that? Jackson. Jackson, yeah. Jack is right here, but wait, whoa. What? Now, wait a minute. Looking up here, it looks like that this, supposed to be Jack, is way too tall. Now, wait a minute. If the atomic radius for hydrogen is low, what would its electronegativity be? Stay where you are. Let's check this out for a second. What would its electronegativity be compared to the others? Bigger. Whoa, look at that. It's bigger. How about its ionization energy? Bigger. What is weird about hydrogen? Does it belong in its area? Should Jack be standing there with that height? No, what, there's something strange about hydrogen. Let's go back to atomic radii. This is what you're supposed to be building. Now, of course, there's too many elements here. So does Jack belong there? Who should we put there? Okay, maybe Jackie belongs there. Jackie, and you gotta refigure who you are. Now, where's Jack gonna belong to based on his height? Gotta probably push over the second row. So now, good, good, good. Just yourself, just yourself who you are. Okay? Yes, you are now hydrogen. Everybody just like moves. Yeah, so where does Jack belong now? Jack belongs here. Jack definitely I think belongs right here. Jack now became whom? Hydrogen, lithium, beryllium. Good. Now you're a boron. I like Kara as a boron, though. I really did. Who is this? Carbon. Who is this? Who is Sam? Oxygen. Fluorine, right? Fluorine then. Neon, who are you? Okay, I need my other noble gas though. Get in line, get in line. Okay, so I've got sodium. Who's next? Magnesium. What are, who are you? Aluminum. Silicon. Okay, who's next? Who's after silicon? Nope. We have silicon, 
Phosphorus, Phosphorus, right? So Super P in the house. Then we've got an S, sulfur. sulfur. Then I've got chlorine. So you're chlorine. We are miss it. We ran out. And argon. Does everyone know who they are? Yeah. Okay, my last question, or last couple of questions. Number one, where is Waldo? Who's Waldo? Right Say it. Jackie's Waldo. Oh. Why is Jackie Waldo? We here. Exactly. Now, can someone tell me why Jackie doesn't belong here? Yeah, she has a smaller radius. Can anyone tell me why they put hydrogen with the bigs? Clearly, it's the land of the bigs. Yes. Why is she put here? Why is hydrogen put here? Can you tell me, is, did I show you hydrogen in that video in the beginning? No, because hydrogen, is, do you think the hydrogen's a metal? No. Why would they put hydrogen here if it's the lands of the metals? Oh, oh, you're close, let's negativity, but why would you put her in this column? How are they related? How are you all related if you're in a column? You have the same number of what? Right, hydrogen has one valence electron, so they didn't know what to do with it, so they just put it here. Is hydrogen a metal? No, so the exception, where's Waldo, is they put hydrogen, your next rat tomorrow, when I ask where hydrogen is, hydrogen is not a metal. You did it perfectly. You had Jack here because you thought it goes in this order. But based on our data, hydrogen is a non-metal. They put them there, put them there, why? Valence electrons. But you have to know that where my what? Divider is, where my non-metals, where's silicon? Who's silicon? <laughs> Don't want to turn around. Okay, who is my boron? So here's the line, guys, between my bigs, who are the what? The metals. Between the smalls, who are? And you guys represent properties of? <laughs> Your metalloids, you have properties of both the bigs and the smalls, right, except for who? Where's Waldo? Good. Who is my most reactive halogen? Where are you? Who is in group 17? Who is my most reactive halogen? Fluorine. Where is fluorine? Which element's fluorine? Hey, there she is! Wait, wait, right? Who is my most reactive alkali metal? We saw an example of it. Is my sodium sitting? Makes, you're not stable. Sodium's got a lot of energy, right? So my most reactive metal is where? Cool. Um, who is my least reactive? Who is the most? Here's a hard one. Who is the, what person represents the element that's an alkaline earth metal that has more metallic, non-metallic properties? Right, why? Why is Jack? the most non-metallic alkaline earth. Well, alkaline earth is group two, but he, he's what? <coughs> he's should be, you guys should be switched, right? Well, it's all good. He's supposedly the, supposedly the smallest of them. Okay, everybody know who they are? Okay, so tonight's homework is very simple. I'm gonna post this video, you guys working yourself together. You're gonna post to the video three comments. First comment you post, you're acting like your element. The two other posts are responses to other. You're going to act out your element. You are very reactive. Think about a reactive person. You guys are stable. Think about stable people. Okay? You guys are somewhere in the middle. You're going to act out tonight with three comments. One post out of the blue or three responses, but at least two responses in one post. You're going to pretend and act like the properties of your element. If you're reactive, there are two types of reactivity, aren't they? We have the yin and the yang. We have the bigs losing. We got the non-metals gaining. So act the point, okay? Would you react with um, Cameron? You love to gain electron. You guys like to, ooh, wouldn't that be a perfect match? You guys are somewhere in between, okay? So I want appropriate responses that match your element. You're gonna become the element. Now when you post tonight, you have to list the symbol first, and then of course, in parentheses, your name. Okay, you won't get credit otherwise. If this is done well, I have no problem giving points back to you on tomorrow's test when I give it back to you. All right? Great job today. Thanks. Let's push these chairs back. And who put Elvira the Atomos Electron on the floor?